This is a HeadGum Podcast. And here we are. We're back. America's number one podcast, as long as you don't have access to the internet. 62 and... Oh, balmy. Sunny. Oh, interesting twist. Um, Welcome to We're Here to Help. Uh, We have some... Ex- uh, we This is kind of a personal show for us, wouldn't you say? And I would say. This one specifically. These are... Uh, I would say you were friends with Steve before me. And you, Eric, before me. I was friends me. with Eric. And then you guys were a two, we were a two, we started mixing... We were for, never really a four, though. Not really. No, you, Berg, and I sort of became a yes. three. Yeah. Eric was more me and him, and then he and Steve got close. Yeah. But it's four people who like each other a ton, and Steve and Eric have gotten very close. Yes. And they've got a nice thing that they cook between the two of them. Yep. And uh, and but we wanted to have them both in, and to as we hoped and expected, they were uh, both just crushed. murdered. So Eric Edelstein is my first. Los Angeles friend. He was. I was living in the Las Palmas with my buddy Brian Farrell and Eric. Uh, in two thousand four, used to uh, believe he was channeling Elvis Presley. Yep, we get into that a little bit. I think <laughs> he's um, one an, of them. A, he is a wild man. You know him from such movies as Green Room, where he is a straight up neo Nazi. Nice fucking dude can act. He can go from yeah. Those intent- aren't his real views. No. But this dude goes from intense drama to hard comedy. One of the funniest guys oh, I know. Oh, yeah. You, he's uh, one of those guys. Uh, both of yes, these guys agreed. are that you would recognize these guys. 100%. Steve was my intern manager at the Improv Olympic where we used to do improv. Yes. And that's where we basically know each other through. And he did not like me when I he was my intern manager because I wore a puka shell necklace. And he thought <laughs> I thought I was hot shit. Yeah. Um, but we eventually became friends one day when we over edibled yes. and uh, we, we got into He it. also didn't like me at first because he said- The judgy little man. He goes, you know, you reminded me of some like overconfident Greek guy. Yeah, he didn't like my confidence. <laughs> I, by the way, come on. <laughs> he ain't wrong. And he's like, he's like, what does this guy think he has that others don't? This little Greek son of a bitch. Yeah, and he didn't like me because of a puka shell <laughs> neck. Yeah. We, we should have him but back on. But here's the beauty of Berg. That attitude, we're so serious and judgmental. Within a thirty seconds, he's like, "This guy is sweet as can be." It's funny as well too, as I love the Greek culture because he's the sweetest guy. But then he'll also be like, "I don't like that guy." Yeah, I don't. And then I go, "I know you're going to change very quickly." And he goes, "And I have." I, and the way he talks about like how he talked to someone, he'll yeah. be like, "I told that guy get out of my way. I'm furious." What did you actually say to him? I said, "Thank, thank you, me, you, thank you're you a good so friend. much for the opportunity for you to step on my toes." <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, so anyway, these guys so, are killers. So great, great episode. Uh, I also want to say thank you to everybody who tuned in to Self Reliance this weekend on Hulu. Uh, Gareth has helped a lot with the push. The show has helped a lot with the push. Everybody from the cast who came on, I appreciate all of you guys. Everybody who's watched, I appreciate you. It means a lot, and thank you. Yeah, and tell people. I mean, like we ask you to do with the show, with yes. with Self Reliance, yes. keep keep it going. And then to I mean? go to our show, we're here to help for a second. I just want to say uh, the day we're recording this, which is Thursday, the Andy Samberg, Steve Berg first episode, we are having our biggest day ever on the podcast. So thank you guys for listening. We really love doing this. Uh, We have both been really shocked and surprised how many people have come with us this early. Uh, So thank you. We're listening to the comments. We're in a studio. We're yeah, we're on hard. YouTube too. If you want to watch video yes. of us do this, it's quite dynamic. And so we're shirtless. I'm just feeling a lot of gratitude and I love you, Gareth. Oh boy, this is Jake's been drinking, but Jake. Without further ado. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. How you doing? Great energy. I'm good. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. Can we start? Can I get your name, please? Yeah, uh, my name is Lance. Lance and Lance, where are you calling yeah. from? Uh, I'm calling from uh, beautiful Southern California here. Southern so Ca- Cal- okay, we're in Southern California. We're uh, in Los Feliz at the moment. Um, kind of like around like the uh, like Burbank Chatsworth area. Respect, respect. Oh, Chatsworth. And Lance, about how old are you? What's your age so we can kind of judge you a little uh, bit? Yeah, absolutely. I'm 33. 33. Oh, real quick, this is inside baseball. Burbank is so far from Chatsworth. It is. It yeah. doesn't seem. What adjacent. do you mean, Burbank Chatsworth area? There we go. Local it's already <laughs> already here's an indicator, friend. No, no, no. Chatsworth. Where are you located? My, my family. I, I'm located in the Chatsworth area. My yeah. mind just says Burbank Chatsworth because my uh, some of my family lives in Burbank. So I go Can I suggest <laughs> that the reason why you say Burbank Chatsworth is because if you say Chatsworth, people just go, "Oh, where they make porn." Yeah, porn or a militia. 
right? <laughs> That's why you do yeah, it, right? Yeah, do you have a manifesto, Lance? You're trying to make people go like, oh, won't near Warner Brothers and where they make porn. Yeah. Like, like Warner like, Brothers yeah, and Bang exactly. Brothers. <laughs> Thank you, Garrett. Thank you. All right, Lance, what can we do for you today, sir? Okay, so basically, the story is, I, I recently, so ever since I was young, I've been into magic, uh, practiced ever since I was little. Uh, recently, uh, I kind of stumbled into a couple, like, legit gigs just from kind of, like, flying around and doing it to some people. And right. it's been going well. Like, people seem really, uh, I think I'm a little bit better than I gave myself credit for, and it, it, it's great. Uh, the issue that I started having, though, is that the form of magic that I do is more akin to, like, mentalism. Uh, not mm. like typical magic. And this has resulted in uh, me getting kind of cornered after some things by some people who are very, very convinced that what I am doing is 100% real and will then kind of like rant at me with some really crazy stuff of their own. Uh, and I'm one of those people where I'm, I'm kind of too polite. I can't really like get out of the conversation. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really sure how to deal with these people because if I refute the craziness that they're shooting me, I'm kind of refuting your own craziness you know, as a exactly. mentalist. Yeah. So let me kind of paraphrase and see if I know where we're at. You're a magic man. You you do legit gigs. You do not do sleight of hand magic. You do Correct. mentalism. And mentalism is basically you say to a group of people, think of a number. I know what number you're thinking. And you've got ways and tricks to get to that number, correct? Yes, no, can, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> can you do any mentalism right now on one of us so that we can see uh, what you do or does it not you, work? Jake. Yep. But Lance, does that work or does that not work? It, it, it's very yeah, I'm going to just break through. It won't phone. work. <laughs> right. Wait, hold on. Say that again, Lance. <laughs> Spoiler, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I have some stuff I could maybe pull yeah. off, but it'd be very difficult to do over the phone. Not yeah, me. That, that's a long way of saying no. Hold very on, hold judgy on. Yes. for a man who was healing people at a Seven Eleven <laughs> as yes. president, as well as a man who uses turquoise and has told me you should rub it on your body at work. But I've done the work. Today's just day one of doing the work with Lance. So Lance, what I'm hearing for you in the subtext, you're incredible at your job. You're so incredible. People corner you for hours. And how old a man are you, Lance? Thirty three. 33. Okay. 33 years old. Time to learn a little thing called boundaries, friend. Yeah. But like this problem, I'm like, I'm so good at my job. People are cornering me forever. Are you just calling into the show to promote yourself? Like, is there a website or an Instagram or something? Hold on, Lance. Hold on. And I can only say this because I love Eric. Hold on, Lance. And I've known this fucker for so long. Ease up. I'm we coming are, in hot. I'm we are in. on Lance's team. We need That's a bad cop. All right, cop Lance, I'm on your team. <laughs> bad cop. This is a bad lieutenant, and we're like paper boys. <laughs> He's going to kill Lance. Oh, I'm sorry, Columbro. Go ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> and so, Lance, is there anything? is there anything you could do over the phone so that we and the audience is a little bit on your team with the magic? Um... Let me let me think. So so much of it relies upon me having a reveal on hand. Um, I I can try something really fast over the phone. Sure. I've never tried this over the phone before. Okay, this, and if I, you get I, hey, I by the way, if with... you get it wrong, Eric's going to be abusive. But Gareth and I are going to try to be. We're your team. That's side. it. That's it. So <laughs> don't don't be discouraged at all. But Eric is going to be your subject. Lance, take over, and I'll tell you what. Kevin the Honk, Gareth, and I are really hoping this works. Okay, let's let's try this here. So, um, first of all, do you guys have? Um, does one of you have like your phone on you really fast? Eric, yeah, I do. Eric Lance, has his and phone. I'm rooting for you, friend. Atta boy. Eric. Okay, we perfect. So here's here's what I want to do. Is so, uh, have you ever been? Uh, there's there's a website that's like affiliated with like Google uh, that kind of like lists um, basically. Google. Uh, sort of everything that people have searched for recently. Uh, it's just Google and then a hyphen stats.com. Uh, it's literally just part of Google. Can you go there really fast and just Google and then a hyphen and then stats.com? What I love about this already is that Eric's naysaying has led to us potentially going through his Google No, searches. now I'm yeah, absolutely terrified. Keep going. I made my bed. Okay, what is it, Lance? <laughs> but this ain't good. Okay, 
so so it should be like yeah, bigger it be like ladies. Yeah. Right? <laughs> How weird did I get last night? <laughs> oh, if you can get yeah. him to reveal his history, <laughs> what he looked at to help him sleep last oh, night, God. I will die. Like yeah, I, I was trying to help sex. my friend's stepmother. That's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so yeah, so there should be like if you scroll down to the bottom. There should be um, a couple of, uh, like, cities and whatnot, yeah? I don't see... Okay, cities. I just clicked on cities. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I want you to I'm do. so scared. What I want you to do really fast is don't do anything just yet. I want to kind of unlock something in your mind, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to just, in your mind, visualize uh, as many cities around the world as you can picture in your head rapid fire. So, like, somebody has a flip book. And they're kind of, you know, like pulling the pages of the flip book really fast. You're just seeing city after city after city. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And really visualize that as, as much as you can. Iconic details, landmarks, whatever, you know, pops in your head. Okay. Let me once you kind of gotten a, a hold of that and flip through everything. Okay. I got like three or four cities I'm flipping through. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. What I want you to do now is I want you to concentrate on the city of, let's say, Miami. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do, don't, like, on the website, I don't want you to pay attention. I just want you to scroll down to the bottom of the page as fast as you absolutely can without really looking anything over. Just subconsciously take it all in. Okay. 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 You got the bottom? I'm doing it. I'm at the bottom now. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Now, what I want you to do is if you had to pick a number between one and a hundred that you think that Miami would fit it into just on instinct. Don't think too hard. What's the first number between one and one hundred that you would think of that you associate? Should he with say it out loud or give us the uh, fingers? Yeah, yeah, say, say it out loud. That's fine. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. So here's what I've done. Right. What I want you to do is you can take in more information than your brain than you think you're capable of taking in. You can subconsciously register things on a level that you've never done before. And so what I want you to do, you just said 77, you were thinking of Miami, you scroll through this list really fast. I now want you to go back up and see what is the 77th most Googled city. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Lance, I am humble. Yes. I am sorry. I believe. Let me see. I'm looking right now, Miami 77. Show the camera, show the camera. So Lance, what? Oh is my it? God! All right, Miami Lance. Seventy-seven. Wait, show the ca- and Lance <gasps> really fast because you came on here and you just killed it. What is your first and last Thank name? You. Your Instagram. Where can people find you really fast? We're gonna promote you a little bit. <laughs> I got chills, you know, I'll Lance. Be, I'll be honest. I I was actually using a fake name just in case I did say anything that had a magical cabal yeah. come after me. Lance, but, you uh, you I, just I, you blew my buddy's mind. You blew all of our minds. What is your thing? How people can find a mentalist, and then we're gonna give you so advice. My, Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm brand new at this, so my, my socials aren't really too active. Uh, my name, my real name is Jake Price. Uh, Jake under Price? Instagram, I'm, I'm Jake Price Knows Things all run together at Instagram. Uh, there's like there's like nothing on there. Though. Okay, I'm, all good. I'm hey, just, hey, Jake, you know, you're starting. Everybody l- look him up on Jake Price yeah, Knows Yeah, everybody stuff. starts somewhere. Jake and I met in a bachelor yeah. apartment. Now he's got syndication money. <laughs> the price is right. <laughs> Jake Price, we're so, we're fans, friends. So Jake, now you. By the way, way to come in here. Eric yeah. was gone in. He uh, was trying to knock you down. You spun him. He did the Eric. Oh, yeah. now really that, fast. I'm humbled. I'm Eric, humbled. Eric, really quickly now to <laughs> yeah. Jake Price. He's he's in a situation where now you uh, see it. I see it. I feel like an ass. And his I, fans, <laughs> his fans are coming at him pretty intensely. Yeah. So can you, as David Lynch, the great director, give him a little bit of advice of how he can keep distance between his fans trying to tell them their crazy stuff so that Jake Price can do what he does, and that is be a mentalist and then have space? Well, here's the thing, Jake Price, is you and I are both deeply, deeply in the water of esoterica, and sometimes you need to swim out of the deep end, bucko, because you got a gift here, pal. You got a real gift, and you got personality and spunk, and the world is going to know the name Jake Price. But what you have to do, buddy, is figure out these boundaries for yourself because this incredible energy that you're putting forth in your mentalism, the best way to get that drained is an unboundaried weirdo after a show. 
<laughs> you just tell them I'm not part of any secret MK Ultra project. I was born to humble, good people in Chatsworth Burbank, which I'm giving you now because you blew my mind. Hey, Eric, now can you give uh, Jake Price some advice from the great basketball coach, Mr. Bill Walton? Now look here, Lance. What you've done today is absolutely blown us away. This is it. This is Jerry Garcia. This is Neil Young. This is Bob Dylan, rough and rowdy ways. But you have to rein in the energy. Look, I watched Larry Bird tell off person after person in airports because he needed his energy for himself. How was he going to drop triple doubles if he let every unboundary soul unburden their mental illness upon him? <laughs> Lance, you got this. Throw it down, big uh, man. Now, Jake Price. Last but not least, Eric, will you tell Jake Price <laughs> knows things what he should do as the one and only Elvis Presley, the king, baby? Uh, I, I'll tell you, Lance, I came in here. It, you know, it, It's a comedy podcast, man. I came in here doubting and shooting and hoping for some editing, and, and you blew my mind, man. So I'm telling you right now, man, <laughs> however you choose to see God as is Allah or Buddha or Jesus, I agree with you, man. But what you need to do right now is summon this power, man, because these people are going to try to tear you down. Jake Price, man, you might be a goddamn chosen one like me. All right? And I'm going to say one more thing. Embrace every religion. Don't get left out of heaven on a technicality, my friend, because you got the goods, man. Miami. So, Gareth, uh, those uh, were three. So, by the way, you just had some great advice from three different great figures. They're all kind of the same idea, and that is you got a gift, Lance. You're talented at what you do. You just need boundaries. Garf, are we missing anything here? Because I'm kind of no. With I think Walton it's just King. And... I listen. Of course, I'm with the trifecta there. Uh, and I, I think, yeah, I think it's really you're new to it. That's the real issue. Is that you're not used. You feel like you're going to be letting people down if you're not doing a show after your show. Mm -hmm. But to what Eric is suggesting, you cannot pour from an empty cup, Lance. So you've got to just. You've got to find a way to just be done when you're done. The show is over. If someone corners you or if someone wants to have this sidebar, you just need to say something like, I'm too exhausted. Like, it, these shows exhaust me, and I have another show tomorrow. I, I don't have time. And not feel like that is rude. Sometimes people will, I'm sure all of us have been in the situation where someone thinks because you're not giving uh, the effort one-on-one -on -one that they want from you, that you are disappointing them, but you're in the right, and I would just, you know, you you need to have your energy. So, so Lance, well, I think we're all on the same page here, and that is keep doing you, man. You're kind of killing it. Uh, we expect big things from you. That was shocking. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. We kind of set you up there to miss. Oh yeah, buddy. I thought I really in my head I was like, we're yeah. not gonna use no, this. No, and then I thought, you know, I was kind of just doing it to fuck with Eric a little bit because he came in hot. Yeah, and the Google was perfect. The Google's yeah. and also I've never seen so many stills of busty maids when I looked at yeah. the phone. Uh, uh, research. I was doing my own research. <laughs> All right, Eric. I, no, Jake let me off the hook. I thought it was gonna be conspiracy theories and stepmom stuff getting revealed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The so stepmoms yeah. come up a couple. Yeah. Of times, which makes me feel like that's the real deal. <laughs> it's it's stepmom stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's a bit. I swear I'm not into stepmoms. <laughs> Tons of other weird stuff. I just read it. That's the number one thing. Well, but also, both of you, I've been up to you in public. You both have a way of making people that come up to you feel great in a very brief way. Like, Jake, you're wonderful to people, but it's brief. Yeah. And you give people what they need. And I think you all. A uh, uh, thing I'd say, Jake, keep it moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your body yeah. moving. Yeah. If you're moving, yeah. Just act like there's right. this hidden force, which clearly you're in touch with, propelling you along and don't get cornered by well, people. Well, you know what also actually helps is a lot of times, like, if I'm at a club, like, I don't know what the setup is for where you're doing these shows, but it's very good. Like, if you need to give someone, like Eric's saying, like, 30 seconds, it's always helpful to have someone there pulling you away. I think that's right. Yeah. So... In closing here, Jake, we gave you some, I would say, some pretty solid advice. Where are you kind of at? What have you taken from this? You probably knew what we were going to yeah, say. Yeah, you're reading all yeah. of our brains, but take us out of here, Jake. Where are you kind of at? No, I, I agree. I really appreciate it. I like the, the mantra, too, of, like, keep moving, like, uh, act like I'm busy, act like i got places to be sort of yeah. thing, you know? Like, um, I like that idea of, you know, stopping, giving somebody 30 seconds of my time, and yeah. then just, yeah, setting that, that boundary, which is, yeah, and I... 
I really thank you guys so much. I think you really hit the nail on the head here, and I uh, yeah. uh, big confidence booster too. So thank you for that. You know, another <laughs> good, another real quick good one is to go when someone's in the midst of that. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, hey, let's get a picture. Have them take a quick picture, then you're out of there. That feels like a punctuation to the interaction. Yeah, and eventually have a handler, and and hilariously. They have us, when David Lynch go, does events, we go down in character, and he interacts with us in character because wow. it makes him happier. So he'll come to me, Detective, how's your mother? I'm like, oh, you know, we had a big dinner on Sunday, and you know what happened? What? Another murder. Oh, my gosh, and you had to go? Yeah, we did. So have a way when you're out to make things more fun because that's what they do with us. And eventually, very soon, because you're a shooting star on the uprise, You'll be able to have somebody with you that can kind of help move things along with love. And then, King, take us out of here with one last thing as Elvis. And then at the end, tell him to get the hell off. And that's going to be the end of our call. All right, Jake Price. He's the future, man. I'm deeply invested in him. I'm going to come over and mentor him. And that is that for that call. But we'll never forget Miami 77, man. Uh, <laughs> could I have a, a little pill? <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Jake. <laughs> Wow. Hey, I sit humble. So Thanks, bud. Thanks, buddy. All right. And we're here to help is sponsored by ZocDoc. ZocDoc, Jake. You're on your phone just now, but you're locked in to ZocDoc. Yes. Are you ready to hear about it? Yes, sir. Hey, we're having fun. We're in the studio. Jake Johnson, Gil Buchanan, about to talk about ZocDoc. What is ZocDoc, Jake, you ask? No, you didn't, but I'll pretend you did. I'll read your lines off camera. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Now, Jake, you know how hard it is sometimes to find a doctor. You find the doc you want. On, with ZocDoc, you can book them immediately. So there's no more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. I'll tell you, that hold music, that drives me crazy. How many times do I have to hear the boy from Ipanema? <laughs> Come on, give me something I can work with here, people. How about a little Queens of the Stone Age? Gil likes to party. And these doctors have all been verified with reviews from actual real patients. Not mannequins, not AI, real patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands, top-rated, patient-reviewed, credible doctors and specialists. And Jake, I'll tell you, the older you get, the more your body clicks. You're hearing weird little clicks come from your back. That's clicks connected to your knees. I'm gonna, your I gotta shoulder. tell you, I'm gonna use ZocDoc because I gotta find a doctor and I don't know how to do it. I just well, saw that Jack, it takes your insurance uh, located yeah, near well, you. Uh, uh, hey, Jake. Leave some copy for old Gilly Bean, would you, pal? The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between 24 to 72 hours. Fair. That's one day to three days. That's quick uh, math, math for you there. That's it. You can even score the same day appointments. Now, listen to me, everybody. Listen to me very good. I want you to give ZocDoc a shot. Gil Buchanan uses them, and you should too. All right? Now, go to ZocDoc.com slash HTH and download the ZocDoc app for free. Not going to cost you a penny. Then find a book, a top-rated doctor immediately. That's ZocDoc.com. I'm doing like, it now, Gilly. There we go. Okay, Jack, don't step on the lines. Jake, you got sorry, plenty sorry. of them in this episode. Sorry. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash H-T-H. Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash H-T-H. ZocDoc.com. Dot com slash HTH. Gil Buchanan, Jake Johnson, Alice is making me sleep on the couch. Too much behind the scene. Well, hello, everybody. Jerry Buchanan here in place of my rat younger brother, Gil. Now, you might be asking yourself, hey, this is different. <laughs> why do we have Jerry and not Gil? And I'm going to tell you why. And Kevin might say it, too. It's because Gil is a no-show. Back me up, Kev. It's true, he's not here. He's a goddamn no-show. <laughs> well, I want to start by saying a quick hello to somebody who I have wronged in my life and something I feel a lot of guilt towards. Sweet Alice Walker. Now known as Alice Buchanan, and when she was with me, she was also Alice Buchanan. <laughs> Alice, the years we were together, I was staring into the eyes of a bottle of bourbon rather than the eyes of the love of my life, and I have regrets. So, Alice, this old-time ad man doing one last ad, honey, is for you and for Rocket Money. Rocket Money has been kind enough to sponsor an episode of We're Here to Help. <laughs> Rocket Money is a personal finance app. 
that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions. I've got an unwanted subscription, my younger brother Gil. <laughs> it monitors your spending and it helps lower your bill. My brother Gil is the type of rat who takes the love from you, the love of your life, your career, your ad sales, and takes them for himself. And something like Rocket Money would come in and do that with unwanted subscriptions. Why pay for something that you don't need? It doesn't make sense. And what I'm going to say to the We're Here to Help community, and we're here to help top team, is I will do it cheaper than Gil. So why don't you Rocket Money Gil's subscription out and and rocket money Jerry's in. <laughs> I can see all of my subscriptions with rocket money in one place. And if I see something and I don't want it, I can cancel it with a tap. Tap, Gil, you're gone. <laughs> tap, Alice, you're back. I have never, I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Who wants to? <laughs> rocket money has over five million users. That's a lot of users. Well done, Rocket Money. And has helped save its members in ever... I can't believe this is true. Is this true, Kevin? That's right. It has saved its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. You'd be a fool not to use Rocket Money. I can think of one fool who wouldn't do this, who would hear it and say, not for me, old Gilly Buchanan. And I'll tell you another thing that rat tone would say. Uh, what do I get? What do I get? Well, here's what you get. You get the love of my life, and you get a free place to live, you rat. You don't deserve it. This is my call to action to you, the community of We're Here to Help. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash help. That's rocketmoney.com slash help. Rocketmoney.com slash help. And what I would like to put in it is rocketmoney.com slash help. Me get rid of my brother Gil. He has been a parasite and a cancer to the family since 1961. And a quick little message to sweet Alice Walker. Honey, I love you more than that rat Gil. Hello. How's it going, man? Welcome to the show. We're here to help. We, uh, we're going to help you, okay? No matter what. Took a weird turn, I could tell by Jake's face. Uh, Jake and I are wearing the same outfit. He likes to dress like me now. It's a little unnerving. Can we get your name, please? Yeah, my name is Jake Johnson. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is too much. Jake, make the sign. Wait, hold on. Here's my sign. I got a guy who's my name, and I got a guy who dresses like me. Today ain't great. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, like hey Jake. Hey, Jake, my guy. What are you dressed yeah. like right now? Are you wearing a blue button-down and jeans? No, I'm not. White shoes? I'm wearing a t-shirt and a short. Right here's something dork. Right here's something dorky, Jake. Uh, so I always start, but I, I write the notes as I go because I don't have a great memory. And I was about to write Jake Johnson. I think I can remember your name. <laughs> How about this? You wrote Jake. Jake and crossed think, it out. Yeah. I was like, I think I got that. Uh, where are you from, Jake? I'm from uh, Minnesota. Is your name really Jake Johnson? It is. Okay. Where in Minnesota? Minneapolis. Great city. You a Vikings fan? Great town. I'm you, not a Vikings fan. So, great so I was person. Born in Wisconsin, so I'm great a Packers man. Fan. Oh, wait. Great guy. A, a Jake. Minnesota Jake Johnson who likes the Packers. <laughs> oh, it's wow, like you were created in a lab. This is kind of like Gareth's dream guy. Yeah, this is this is this is how I this is the guy I want to do the podcast Jake with. Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson <laughs> the Packers <laughs> fan. Uh, and so Jake Johnson from Minnesota. How old are you? I'd I'm say, 26. I'd say, yeah, I was going to say 28. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm 45. There weren't a lot of Jakes at my age, but mm. at about when, about when I was about eight to 10, they started. What? Yeah. Not a lot of Jakes. When I was right? growing up, there were no Jakes growing up. And wow. then at around 10, a lot of baby Jakes. I think when I was born, Jake was the most popular name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got guys like that. Well, Jake, I'm going to tell Jake you, Johnson my mother is similar to me. We are braggers, and she likes to take credit for bringing that name back. I don't She's know if it's a, accurate. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can right. see that. All right, Jake. So you're about 26. You're from Minnesota. Uh, you got a great name. What can we do for you? 
Great team. Well, my girlfriend and I are huge New Girl fans, oh, and thanks, we man. often listen to this podcast together. Oh, thanks. Oh. And well, from Gareth, thank you for New Girl, and for me, thank you for the podcast. Yep, yep. I really yeah. appreciate it. We we love making the show, and we, we love when it when it hits. For <laughs> and people. we love making the podcast. We love the so, podcast yeah. too. But yeah, the show was a lot of fun. Okay. Quit 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 acting like you're a part of the show, Jake. Come on. So the reason uh, why we started dating is because her Tinder profile said that she was a huge New Girl fan. She had a Nick Miller quote, and I used that as a way to talk to her by saying, "Hey, I'm Jake Johnson. I play Nick Miller in the show." Jokingly, of course. And we hit it off, and here we are three years later, still in love. All right, so you guys connected through New Girl. You used the name and the bit to form the connection, Smart Play. No bad blood there. You guys have been together for three years. <laughs> I'm not seeing a problem, oh my king. <laughs> are you the Garf? No, nothing so far. Smooth <laughs> sailing. And surely it's going to Okay, oh, what do we got? What I need from you guys is to assist me in crafting a memorable proposal to my girlfriend. Mm. 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 Tough. A lot of pressure. Okay. Uh, do you know when you're going to yeah. propose? Well, I was thinking, since we listen to this podcast a lot, and, you know, we lost and listen to it together. Are you proposing to us that you do the proposal live on this podcast, and when this podcast airs, you'll listen to it together, and she'll oh, then no, no, no. know? Or, or are you proposing having her on? Or are you going to do it and then have her listen to it? I think since we listen to the show so much together, I think oh, it you want to wait. I like the idea. I like the idea. Oh, you know what? Then I got a special surprise for you, too, because we've got a guy who I know who's got a beautiful singing voice. Uh, he's got the voice of an angel who I think could help a little oh, bit. Yeah? Kevin, you want to bring him in a little bit? He's a friend of me and Gareth, what and he's got a wonderful- Oh my voice. God! What? what? Did we order an edible arrangement? <laughs> what the fuck? Gareth! Our what friend Steve oh, Bird, who also what? played Steve cheese on New Girl. Sit down, sit down, yes. sit down, my friend. Oh, Watch the microphone. Oh, good. oh my God. <laughs> so, good denim. morning. We've, it's nice to have some more denim Well, now that he lives in Nebraska, he's uh, uh he's <laughs> denim on denim the top cowboy. of the Denim cowboy. Yeah, I, look at wow. Your, wow, nice shoes. So don't re really quickly wow. before you gals start gabbing. Wow. And we're going to catch this guy up to where we're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on the phone. Standing. What was he hiding in a broom closet while Boban was here? Don't worry we, about we it. wanted to surprise you. <laughs> you did. <laughs> we took a private jet here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Jake, I'm, I'm going to catch you up and I'm going to catch everybody up in audio. Uh, one of uh, Gareth and I, best friend in the whole world, Mr. Steven Berg. Friend of show. Sorry. From the Friend podcast that we're asking you guys to all check out called High Strangers. Oh, Steve, really God. quickly, give a quick pitch of what High Strangers Well, is. I love weird topics like UFOs, the paranormal, cryptozoology, and I talk with the leading experts in this field, and I'm passionate about it. And let me tell you something. It's all real. When was the last time you hit that uh, one hitter? <laughs> About 60 minutes ago, and it is wearing <laughs> off, and I need another dose. And so... Because I'm telling too much truth right now. <laughs> so Clearly. We decided, uh, our friend Steve came in town, and we decided rather than just tell Gareth he was here, we were going to surprise him on the show. Crazy. And so, Steve, you are now caught up. We are talking to a guy yeah. named Jake Johnson. For real? For real. Yeah. He's 26 years old. He's from Minnesota. Love Minnesota. Likes he, the Packers. He likes the Packers. He wants to propose to his girlfriend. Yeah. But the way he wants to do it, is on this show right now, then he wants to save it and listen with her when we air it. And then, so that time when they air it, that'll be how she hears. So it's now, our job to help him come up with a beautiful pitch proposal. But, but okay, here's the thing, right? If, just, if we're gonna air this as a, re first of all, it's insane. First of all, it's insane that you're all in denim. Uh, and it's insane that it's you're It's also here. insane you're dressed like me. Stop it, Jake's yeah, dressed like I'm me. I'm dressed cool. Chicken or the egg. Um, but you guys look like you're from Urban Outfitters. Stop or it. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me actually is. <laughs> right, keep going. It's easy clothes. No, no I'm, man. I I'm, look like I rode here on my motorcycle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool customer. Looks like you Jack ate Dean. a chocolate motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> I did as I was riding my real motorcycle. All right, good God. All right, you did. With friends like these. Eating a chocolate motorcycle is pretty good. We we would air this as a call. So yes. probably his girlfriend by now has figured out that a proposal is coming, which I actually think is okay. 
Like right now, yeah, they could be sitting here listening to this or, call. Or, 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 we Jake, start it. Jake. Yes. So here's what you might have to do. You might have to find a way to not let her listen until this point. Mm. What do you think, Jake? So do you understand? Did you hear Garrett's kind of issue there? And that is as soon as she starts hearing she's gonna hear this, Jake Johnson, she's going to know you're on the show. But once you do the setup and you say what you want to do, she's going to freak out. So there could be a way. And you got to tell us how your relationship works. Is there when you guys are listening together, whose phone is it? It's always mine. It is. Okay. Okay. So what you yeah. could do when you say you want to listen, here's what we're going to do. Kevin, will you replay the theme song? Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, no, it would be. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, there's an intro. How do we do this? No, we, we, that's what we could do right now. You can play the intro. <laughs> okay. And then we and just the start call, the call. Right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or we just take the call. Yeah. Cause we do that. The transitionary thing. Yep. So do that transitionary thing. We're going to start the call right now. But before we do this, actually, cause this is all pre, what's your fiance's name? Emily. Emily. Emily okay. <laughs> Jake, let's have a moment yep. and figure out what you're going to do to propose. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your relationship? We are both like major foodies, so we love going to different places uh, to eat in our area. We love traveling to different countries and cities. Um, okay. Both huge animal lovers. And hold on, honestly, hold on, like Jake. I have a big idea. Jake, I got a big idea. Yep. I think we do this. We do the transitionary music, and stay with me on this one, Jake. Tell me if you like it. We pretend Steve Berg is the caller. Uh, we go, hey, who's this? You go, my name's Steve Berg. You go, I want to, I want to propose to my my fiance. I yeah. don't know how to do it. Her name is Emily. Yeah. You do the whole thing. Then at a certain point, we stop and go. Now we're gonna take a pause. Jake Johnson in Minnesota. Is there anything that you want to say to your dear fiance Emily? You say out loud. Yes, there is. We'll go, then do it. Her <laughs> head will explode. Yeah, that's pretty then, massive. <laughs> then you jump in after it, and we will all congratulate you. I like it. Go I got a counter pitch. Do it. We just, when we're ready, we start, and Jake Johnson in Minnesota is saying to Emily, I've got a new podcast I want you to listen to. It's High Strangeness. Oh, yeah. We start Steve with a little weird kind of talk. Interesting. And then we jump in and say, you're actually not listening to High Strangeness. You're listening to We're Here to Help. And this is a special message to Jake Johnson and Emily in Minnesota. No, from Jake Johnson. From Jake Johnson. Okay. And then he could jump in and say, hi, Emily. Ooh. I'm sure it's pretty weird for you this listening to good. me. I'm, we're here to help. Yeah, but yeah, there's yeah, something yeah, yeah. I want to say to you. And then you propose to her on the show. And okay, we all go, that's we're, amazing. We're and then the you say, stop. Everybody this likes is, it. I, this is how it happens. This is, this is a 4.8 on the spice level. Yeah, but in Thank like 15 you. minutes, if we didn't stop him, he'd be going like, and then this is going to happen. And then I'm eating spaghetti for dinner. Shut up. Look, the we here to help are gonna live that trust yes. me um so jake right now we've got two soft the, here's the third one <laughs> steve berg is going to improvise a little song <laughs> and then you're just going to do that so right now you have three options uh, you've got the we set it up steve is the fake caller on we're here to help yeah two we pretend this is a different podcast oh. you really like called high strangeness which is a real podcast then we can get his actual music or we'll do a transition in he starts it then in the after his setup, he says he's here with Jake Johnson and Gareth Reynolds from We're Here to Help. She'll go, oh, that's why. Then we'll find a natural transition to say to the Jake Johnson. For oh, yeah. Third is you just make up a singing a song and then something else happens. Where are you at, Jake Johnson? Me making a song or him making a song? You make it up. I can do that. Yeah. Give us a taste. I'm a song and dance man. Sitting in the corner, wondering to myself. Are crop circles real, or am I fooling myself? It's huh. not about the UFOs. It's about him and proposing. Oh, it's all, okay. Well, <laughs> first of all, if, if, if I'm like, not told, I like that it's about crop circles. Yeah, and no. I like anyone who rhymes myself with myself. <laughs> no, Thank you. No, Steve, Thank you. respect. This Thank is you. your Jake Johnson proposing to Emily. Oh yeah. Okay. Go ahead. My name is Jake. I'm part Norwegian. I love a lady named Emily. She's wonderful. She is great. She's a foodie. We went on a date and we fell in love. Oh, we fell in love. Sometimes we go to Europe. 
Maybe we'll try a fun euro. Sometimes we'll go to Tokyo and okay, have ramen. It. Okay. So it, it was a, you cut it off on food right at the perfect time. <laughs> yeah, you cut no, it off food set. Not because their food He was is, halfway through ramen. Because yeah. he's hungry. Yes, but he was about Starving. to get more into so, Starving. Jake, uh, in Minnesota, where are you at, man? What do you, what yeah. do you want to do now? Let's get back to you. You're the star. As much as I love advice from another Jake Johnson, which I really appreciate, I think Gareth is on to something. I do too. Yeah. I'd like to maybe explore that idea. Okay. okay. So then so, tell us how you would like to do it that would work the best for your actual relationship. Do you want to start with Steve talking about high strangeness and then he introduces Gareth and I? And then we, at a certain weird point, say, there's a guy named Jake Johnson. If you want, oh, you want to talk about high strangeness? Uh, here's some high strangers. There's a guy in Jake Johnson in Minnesota right now sitting with his fiance Emily, and he's got something he wants to say. Mm. Then we all take a pause, and then you jump in. How does that sound? No, that's, no, that's pretty good. I like that a lot. So you'll not expect that. So, Jake, this is your life, right? We're doing bits. Is this how you want to propose to Emily? I think it and is. don't just do what you think we want. Is this what you? Because if you like it, I'm fired up. I yeah, think it's a I great like idea. It. If you guys would, you know, allow me to give a little something from the heart. And uh, do you know what ooh, you want to say? Oh, and, you, yeah. Yes. Do you know what you want to say, Jake? I kind of have something prepared. Great. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. Oh, so what we'll are. do so, is we'll jump yes. into the high strangeness. Mm -hmm. Steve, you'll start. You'll say we're your guests. Yeah. You go first. Okay. Then when it goes to pretty, me, my strangeness. Pretty quick. Yes. We'll stop. Yeah. We'll say this is actually an episode of We're Here to no. Help. No. Okay. Why? Why well, do we need that turn? Because that's for her. That's so she's like, what the fuck's going on? The turn is that he's going to talk. Y yes. Okay. Why don't you also talk about our sponsors? Well, I mean, look, look, <laughs> well, we all know if you want to get hard in 10 minutes, you take a Mango headband. RX. Hold on. <laughs> mango RX. It's they a Taladafel and Sananophila. <laughs> Bring in Gil fucking Buchanan. Hey, <laughs> Emily, I couldn't be more excited no, for you. No, Gareth. I'll tell you what, we're... Alice and I have been on the rocks many times. 68 and balmy. 68 and balmy. <laughs> and That's not just my age and demeanor. <laughs> no, what we're going to do, Garf, that keeps it simple is he brings up high strangeness. Yes. You say something strange that happened. You sure. say, do you have anything strange, Jake? I say, yes. I talk about the same name. And then I'll say, hey, okay. Jake, you got anything you want to say? All right, great. Then you do your pitch. All right, yeah. great. I mean, I do feel like you walked on the set of my movie and took the script out of my hands, but okay. Okay, Gareth, what do you want to do, honey? <laughs> I like it. I like it. You like that, Jake Johnson from Minnesota? Yeah, I, th I think we're on the right track here. So I'll just tee it up like it's the beginning of my podcast. Yes, yeah. and introduce I, you guys. And introduce us. And, and then you'll, say, you'll take it from say there. Say something. Yes. I'll throw to Jake. Great. Jake will throw to Jake. Great. Jake will throw to uh, Emily. I love and, it. And then after, after the thing, we'll this react. And then Jake, we're going to get off after that. Is this this is really good? beautiful. Yeah, he means we're going to leave the call. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he means, not me necessarily. Jake and Emily, when you listen to all this after, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm, a... I promise you both, I'm not going to masturbate about the proposal. <laughs> Unless it goes super, super yeah, actually, great. It depends. it depends. It's a lot of pressure for Jake Johnson in Minnesota. Yeah. Okay, so why don't we start, Steve? Why okay. don't you start your show? Whenever you're, you're ready, I'm yeah, ready. Yeah, and then what I'm you'll do in reality, Jake, is you'll have it paused and you'll say, I want to play you a new podcast and you'll start it right here. Yeah, yeah. okay. Hey, friends, welcome back to another episode of High Strangeness. Tonight, I have two of my best friends in the entire world, Two guys who you probably wouldn't expect to be on a show like this talking about the weird. But my friends are Gareth Reynolds and Jake Johnson, straight from Hollywood, California. Hey. Fellas, how are you doing tonight? Hey, Steve. Hey. Thanks for having us, man. Denim on the top and the bottom. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Always denim all the time over at uh, Berg HQ. <laughs> guys, it's weird because a lot of people wouldn't realize this, but Gareth, you at a young age started having... Alien, I mean, this sounds weird to say, alien abductions. Back it does sound weird to say. Wait, is this real? Weirder to go through. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. As a kid, uh, I used to actually go to, uh, uh, right on Lake Michigan, we used to go down there and watch the fireworks every right. July 4th. Right. And uh, one year after the fireworks were done, we thought that, uh, we thought that uh, we thought one of the fireworks had kind of uh, gone awry. This classic, And we way. sort of saw what we thought was a, a flying saucer. Mm-hmm. And uh, it stuck with me my whole life, but I don't want to eat up too much of the airtime. But we can get back into that. But I'm sure that, uh, you know, well, Hollywood Jake star who really is gracious and understanding to other people's time, 
Jake Johnson has oh, something, Oh, thanks too. so much. Yeah, I've had a lot of strangers. I know you have. Uh, the ghost in your old house by the staircase? We're not going to get into that right now, obviously. <laughs> this is all true, folks. I know. You, well, sorry, I didn't know what you wanted to talk about or not. The chandelier <laughs> that talked to you? Well, I was actually trying to take the lead, obviously. Okay, sorry. <laughs> well, go ahead, Jake. You don't have to talk necessarily. I mean, whatever you want to talk about, Jake. Well, because the thing that I want to talk about. That is not I've, the ghost near your stairs? Nah, or the talking chandelier <laughs> that didn't happen. The thing that I would like to talk about that I find very strange. Yeah is that obviously my name is Jake Johnson. Yeah. And there's another Jake Johnson uh, from Minnesota Whoa. who's 26 years old. I know, it's really crazy. And he's got a fiance named Emily. Not yet. And they've been together for three years. And that other Jake Johnson has something that he wants to say to Emily right now. So, Jake Johnson, are you around? I am around. I'm right here. Well, the floor is yours, Jake. Hey, Emily. Uh, let's listen to Jake together. What do you say? She would say, yeah, My dear ahead, family, Jake. as we celebrate another year of joy, laughter, and adventures, I can't imagine my life without you. Let's continue our journey filled with love, exploring new places, and savoring delicious food, while also shopping for treasures and welcoming a furry friend into our home. Will you make every day extraordinary and marry me? She said yes, probably. <laughs> yes! Yeah! 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 Hot dog in a hat. Song it up. Song it up. That is so great. Wait, what? Little song. Little song. Oh, Emily, you're beautiful. I can't imagine spending a single moment without you. Just imagine the travels we'll do. <laughs> okay. We will go to the moon because Elon's going to make it possible. We'll try We've some weird. Moon. Emily uh, and Jake, congratulations. 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 Way to go. Bye, guys. Bye. Romance is alive and well. Now, we're going to do an option two. And that is, she said no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's your deal? Hey, you know what? Maybe it's better this way, guys. Hey, Jake, yeah. you come to LA. You, me, we'll go out on the town. We'll okay. find what we're looking yes, for. Yes, there's plenty of Emily's out here, Capiche. Hey, yeah, Steve, right. you want to uh, yeah. give us a sad song yeah. to close us off? Emily, you've made the gravest mistake of your life. You will be. Basically, just so depressed deeply. You'll never go to Europe. You'll never try fun foods. And that furry friend, hey, that's going with Jake, not you. You blew it. You failed. <laughs> Your life will amount to nothing. All right, all right. Okay, all sorry. Right, sorry. Guys, okay, right. Thank you. I so went dark. I hey, went dark. Sorry. Jake and Emily, congratulations <laughs> to both of you. Jake, Thank you for the call. We wish yeah. you guys a happy life together. Good luck, man. Have Let a us great know. one, bud. Let us know what happens. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Bye, this guys. This is amazing. <laughs> <Okay>. Thanks. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> what a great video clip. Hey, thank you so much for checking it out. We're loving it. And uh, we want to thank you. And uh, you don't want to miss anything. So what should they do, Jake? Let's do another one. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys for watching us on YouTube. Please. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any of this quality content. Ring, ring. Here to help, go ahead. Cut. That was a HeadGum Podcast.